What's your name and where do you come from? Well, I'm called Amanda and I come from uh, Baxendon near Accrington. What's your name and where do you come from? I'm Gemma and I come from uh, Cambridge. What do you do? I'm a practice nurse and a GP surgery. Do you enjoy it? Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. That's good. Can you tell me what the past few months have been like for you? What happened was, uh, over two months ago, we sadly lost uh, my father and they were so blissfully happy in the flat that they was in. And then all those memories mum had and that loneliness and really isolation. She didn't see uh, people unless we was going to visit. Um, she did feel very insecure, uh, very nervy, uh, would, didn't go out. And really now to move and get that independence and loving where she is now has, has really, really turned her life around and give her that well to yearn now to continue living even though it's a very hard time at the moment. At what point did you know you were going to be happy and well looked after in your new height? I knew the point, um, it's quite upsetting really, when you hear your mother say, I'm so happy, I love it here and it's, it still makes me feel very tearful, not for sadness, but for happiness, knowing that she's in a fabulous place now and, and she's, she can do things now and the companionship of the other residents and the activities, and, but most of all, she's happy oh, and you're good. in her laugh. That's good. At least you know that yeah. she's, not, she's not dwelling no, on what, no. what could have been. She can move forward a little yeah. now. Have her special memories, yeah, but also start her forward. chapter yeah. of life in her yeah. new house. Oh, yeah. that's good. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. And how how did you find with with you before? Was it well? It was quite a rough a rough journey. Mm -hmm. uh, so beginning last year, um, my mum's dad fell poorly, and then my cousin, in the space of about two weeks found out he um, had got leukaemia. Oh, so it was pretty much go, go, go from there. My granddad was in and out of hospital and then uh, my cousin was in for constant treatment for three months. Then my granddad passed away while he was in hospital and then um, he left the house, his house to my cousin. Um, and then he was home for about two weeks and then back in again um, because the treatment wasn't working. So he had to go for more in depth treatment. I house sat for him for six months and then when he was well enough to come home just before Christmas, I had to move into my dad's house. So it was pretty much everything would just went mm. all over the place. Um, and then just before Christmas, I got a phone call about viewing my flat and I just couldn't believe it. Like I, everything that I thought was going wrong wasn't going wrong anymore. Yeah. It just had changed and, and the tables had turned and, and I had, I viewed my own flat and I couldn't believe it. No. It was somewhere that my little girl was going to have as a home and I wasn't treading on anybody's toes. I mean, I am so grateful for my dad to take me in at, at such an unexpected time and, and to have us live in there. Um, and then um, I moved in just after in the new year um, and, and it's been the most amazing six weeks. It's just you can't yeah. believe it. Can I, you? I was so grateful. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't wish it at a better time. Like it made my Christmas. I mean, everything that I, I everything that was going wrong was going wrong, and and I just was so so happy that I was getting my own flat. And I just, I couldn't believe it at first I until I got my keys, and I was like, actually, this is mine. Yeah. This is going to be my home with my baby, and and I just I thought. That would never happen, well, not for a long time anyway. And then within two month, two weeks, I, I viewed it, got the keys, moved in. And I'm so grateful that I've had the help that I've had from my housing officer from, from, t from day one. Mm. It's, it's just been amazing help, amazing help. If I needed anything, she was at the end of the phone and, and I couldn't, 
couldn't thank anyone more. It's really. marvellous, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. We, we but, felt like giggling school kids. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of the things yeah. that it just makes a huge difference, like being your own person. And, and it's certainly brought my daughter out of her out of her shell and, and she's just such a bubbly child. I just am so grateful for it, yeah. It's, You've it's amazing. got that with your little baby and I've got that with my Yeah. <laughs> it's like a new new okay. lease of life. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Okay. How have those around helped? Oh, the people, the input, the management, the housing officer, the resident manager, everybody has just been there. Everything's all been organised. Any questions we've had answered or looked into for us, I just cannot believe how really looked after that mum and, and me as well being involved as well yeah. involving me and it's really reassured me now and changed my perspective on housing and social and not worry no worry I just can't just can't believe it that it's been absolutely brilliant That's good. yeah yeah so you have to worry about, about no anything. no and knowing that they're there for any future worries or concerns mum can just ring up or go downstairs it's just absolutely brilliant i'm really really chuffed That's good. yeah okay mm -hmm.